Hello guys, today I am going to give you a quick tutorial that will demonstrate how you can use a spare modem or a router that you have at home as an additional access point that will help you to create either an another Wi-Fi network or you can use it as an extension of your existing Wi-Fi network at home and you can make your signal strength more. So let's get into actual demonstration. Uh, here is my main internet line coming. This is the first cable modem. Uh, this has built-in router as well. So difference between modem and router is router enables you to share your current uh, capacity of a internet across multiple devices and act as an access point. So if you see the line, main line coming here, which is an internet line, what I'm going to do, I'm going to configure one more router, which I've got as an additional access point. This can have its own Wi-Fi name and network, and this can also have its own Wi-Fi name and network. Uh, additionally, if you don't want to separate Wi-Fi names, let's say you have your own office or space or a hotel wherein you want to use the same Wi-Fi name across multiple uh, rooms, in that case, you can configure the secondary router's uh, SSID same as your primary router's uh, SSID and use as a single Wi-Fi connection uh, or a network uh, to access uh, from any device. What you need to do for this is get an Ethernet cable, connect to one of the LAN port uh, of your main modem and then from there you can extend that and connect to the internet input of the uh, secondary router. Here, this is a WAN point where you can enter it, uh, where you plug in the cable and this is enough to get started. The rest of the configurations I'm going to demonstrate you on my laptop. Okay, so we are going to configure router 2 which is a spare router. Uh, I'm not going to connect using Ethernet. Uh, I will show you first thing I will connect to the Wi-Fi network of my spare router. So after connecting here, you can go to the router setting. This can be accessed using router login.net. Default, it will be an admin user ID and password will be password. After you log in, uh, I changed the password. So I tried with my own password. Uh, you need to go and start configuring your router, spare router into access point. So for that you need to go to advanced, advanced setup. So if you are not using Netgear router or if you don't have this kind of Netgear firmware, uh, op, uh, firmware what you need to do is go to your router settings into an administrative or advanced controls and try to find out where the, they have a setting for access point okay once you go to access point uh, select this radio button uh, here there are two options as i was telling you earlier you can either go and configure your router as an independent wi-fi that will be a new wi-fi that will be created into your uh, space or you can use the parent wi-fi that can be reused uh, into the spare router during that time your parent or a cable modem wi-fi will be disabled and this wi-fi will overwrite your old wi-fi uh, settings that means the new frequent the new uh, wi-fi setup will be available for your connectivity using a spare router in our case we are going to do both the options let's try and set up using get a dynamically uh, ip uh, from the parent router that will help you uh, that will enable this to have its own Wi-Fi here you will see the the details by with which it will be displaying your uh, Wi-Fi signal so I will keep it as is and then I will say apply this will reboot your router 
so folks uh, the router is restarted and it's connected back to the secondary Wi-Fi that is Netgear 13 I'm going to put my user ID and password here now you can see on the top uh, the orange button that says operation mode which is an access point that means now you have two networks which are created here one that is network 13 which is taking the gateway or a parent internet connection from the cable modem and you also see the original cable modem which has its own router that comes with network 67 so if you have two different rooms you can set up these two separate wi-fi connections and they will help you to connect uh, and get the better signals i'm going to show you option number two wherein you don't have these two separate connections but you can have a single Wi-Fi network uh, using the secondary or a spare router and that will enable you to use only single network uh, in your premise. So how to do that I will show you that part now. So now uh, first we will connect to the parent network. which is from the main modem or uh, the router that is Netgear 67 once you are connected with this you have to go to the parent router so that will be the IP address 192.1 168.0.1 okay so we are here at our parent network when you are setting uh, the secondary router as your uh, main Wi-Fi channel or signal in that scenario uh, what things you need to take care uh, you need to have different channel IDs between your parent modem and uh, the spare router which you are going to set up so once you are here you can see there is something called a channel here and there is something called a SSID so you will copy the same SSID and uh, you will be storing that as an router 1 settings and then you have this as a parent and you already have a channel 1 so when you are configuring spare router 2 you should not have the channel in the auto mode but you should select it manually to either 0, 3, 0, 4 so folks now we need to log into router 2 and we don't know the IP address of it since we configured it earlier using dynamic IP to find the dynamic IP you need to install Netgear utility what you can do is go to Netgear Genie if you have installed and then open that and check the IP which you have already created here is a network map so this network map I'm going through because I want I don't know the dynamic IP which has been allocated to the child or a kind of a spare router which I have so I need to come here and see that IP to be able to log in to my spare router so guys you can see here uh, R7000 is my spare router and this has an IP of 192.168.0.32 so I will be accessing that IP here I will put my user ID and password here and connect to secondary so now uh, you go to advanced settings here again go in the advanced AP mode select there here now when you are going to set this up what as I said you need to take router once SSID this is an SSID it had um, so this was the one I'll be applying that here uh, from auto you need to change the channel earlier it, this one had a channel which was 01 and now for router 2 my settings will be now so this is my router 2 and this will have a settings with the SSID same SSID as parent and the channel will become 03. 
or probably let's say 04 okay I will do the same settings down there I'll change uh, for 5G settings as well to the parent one that becomes 67 now which is parents network channel ID is 153 I don't want to keep I'll keep it 149 because parent has uh, the channel 153 so I will be changing uh, not keeping the same I'll be keeping it one probably 49 uh, the passwords on this again I will keep it simple uh, as of parent so that uh, it's just an example so I'm going to keep it ABCD 1234 uh, so now you see this is my secondary router which is on 032 which is a 67 67 5G which is the SSID same as my parent SSID and the channel is manually selected which is different channel from the parent so that there is no conflict while you use this network you see the signal strengths are better over the router so this is the advantage you will get so this is 5G 149 that's 153 uh, the parent has and rest is fine and then you say apply these settings okay so now you can see there should be only one network that is network 67 5g and you don't see independent two wi-fi networks although you are using a spare modem this is how you configure a single network across multiple rooms thank you for watching the video if you liked the video and got the value please subscribe to my channel dreamland usa